welcome back to Compact Fit. I'm back to answer today's question. And for those of you that are new to my channel, I'm answering a question a day in July about Compact Fit. And don't forget to subscribe. So today's question is, um, what workout do you go to when you don't have any time at all? I'm doing this video inside today because outside it's really hot and I want to demonstrate and when I'm outside I need um, Wi-Fi so it's just easier for me and it's a lot cooler here so um, here I'm gonna answer the question and then I'm gonna demonstrate what I do so and also um, usually I would do it because I start my workout in my room in my bed because I stretch from the bed but because there's not enough room for me to have the camera and me working out, so that's why I'm doing it in a different room. But I'll use a chair to pretend like that's my bed. For my bed, I stretch. I stretch just to wake up my body because I've been sleeping for um, up to eight hours. So I just stretch from sitting in the bed. And then I get up, I stretch my arms, I stretch my hips, my legs. And then once I feel like I, I've stretched enough, I do eight jumping jacks, then I go to eight push-ups, and then I just repeat eight jumping jacks, eight push-ups. I'll repeat the moves until I have to get ready. So if I can only do eight and eight, that's fine, but if I can continue on and do um, three sets of eight or four sets, I would do that. Because um, if I don't have enough time, then I have to hit at the shower and we'll get ready to go. Keep in mind the moves you're gonna do them within your ability and if you feel dizzy or faint um, stop whatever you're doing. Guys the moves that I'm doing I'm not wearing sneakers this is just to demonstrate to you what my workout looks like when I don't have time. Usually I'll do it in my room um, for my bedroom so go ahead wear your sneakers if you're gonna work out longer. I'm gonna pretend this is my bed so I get up and I sit up and then so I would just stretch to the right and to the left I just go back and forth and I breathe while I'm stretching, breathe in, breathe out. Then I stretch forward. Put my arms up. Okay, that's what the stretch looks like. The stretch that I showed you before was um, from sitting from my bed but now I'm going to show you what the stretch looks like when I get up out of my bed. So I would normally just stretch my arms like so swing it from left to right then I stretch this way then I open up my legs and I lunge from left to right stretching my legs and my hips. Okay. So that's what the stretch looks like. And then I'll show you the jumping jack. So then I go into the jumping jack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you don't want to jump, because it's still early, you know, you may not feel like jumping. So you just go one, push-ups I'm gonna do eight push-ups and then I'm gonna do eight um, modification push-ups so I go down get into plank position and then I go down one two three four So it's 
The benefits of the jumping jack is to get everything warmed up. Just like if you had a car on a cold day, you wouldn't just take it and go. You would warm it up first. So you want to warm up your body because it's been laying down for a while. So you want to make sure your heart's pumping, your blood's flowing before you take on the day. The benefits of the push-up is for strength and balance training. For me, I love doing it on me because it engages so many different muscles. My back, my core, my triceps. Um, my arms, my upper body, so it's a great workout, although it's not my favorite, but I do it because it's good for my body. So yes, get up and do the jumping jacks and the push-ups. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next video.